Let's fly over to the wolf farm. Get out of my way, pig. You're lucky to be alive. Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. How are you doing today? Welcome back to episode number 35 of Jams, just another Minecraft series. And we're doing some more farming type stuff. I um, actually have been having some post-op issues and basically couldn't start recording on Monday when I normally start recording these things, but I kept on playing the game. So I have done a bunch of stuff since I have talked to you guys last. So quickly, um, we are in 1.10 and I have now got um, up to fine for 1.10 so I can go like this and over my shoulder you see I've done a little bit more work to that thing that thing is looking better and better yes we'll take a closer look at that later but let me show you the importance of this episode right now because I had um, made the storage system and I think I'm gonna leave the floor of this color for now and I'm starting to try and fill things up like I got all that and now I'm filling up the nether warp box so I added some more farms I was initially gonna make this video of me showing you um, me adding these farms but like I said I've been feeling like crap this week so instead of recording I just played so I didn't show you the farms <laughs> And I added a couple of weird things down here. I told you when I was making that, I have a lack of rabbit stuff. Rabbits annoy me. They are bad, bad, bad. Have you grown up, guys? I think you guys are in the process of growing up right now. So I made a rabbit thingy majiggy. <laughs> and it's a rabbit farm of some sort. Um, Basically, this button right here turns water on so I can go up top and, you know, breed them. And what happens is the little babies get formed from these guys, and they fall in between the little fence posts here, and they fall down here. Then I can't even tell if those are big, big rabbits right now, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. I could, I could go get them now. Um, well, when they grow up, you hit this button. As you see, there's a piston there, and it goes out, and it sucks them in. It has that reverse uh, teleportation with the piston thing, that weird bug that they just haven't been fixing yet. So when they do fix it, this rabbit farm is useless. Well, not useless, but it's not working this way. And you got seven layers of snow here, so you could go in here and kill the mothers. And then there's hoppers, and it goes there. And I just decided to make it out of this stuff because of that forest over there so why not right so hit the button they all get sucked up over in there and I kind of just stand right here and just <laughs> feel really bad and uh, stuff goes in here and as you see I've done some things um, got some rabbit foot so I guess good for potions plus it's very good to get a double chest of rabbit's foot which is gonna suck like I said, I'm going to get double chests of everything. I don't have any carrots on me. Well, I was going to feed them up. Yeah. All right. And since I'm such a prepared YouTuber, <clears throat> yes, it's getting dark. Um, I have carrots ready to breed these things. So you hit this button here, and water goes up there, and they just start splashing around. So you jump up here, and I got this pane of glass here, so they can't go anywhere. And I just kind of look over the edge and feed these guys a whole bunch of these carrots. And then I go back down <clears throat> when I'm done breeding. I get as many fed as possible. I think there is 40 to 50 rabbits in there. And you see the babies, they fall down. So when I stop this, oops, <clears throat> and there's a bunch of babies there. So once they grow up, I hit this, suck them over, then kill the mothers. All right, so next to the little rabbit farm, <clears throat> every server or location needs a chicken farm and um, I usually do these pretty early so I'm kind of surprised I haven't actually done it till now 
Um, this one is a little bit different. As you see, usually um, they're made for lava, but this thing's made out of wood. So I don't really do the fire thing. Let me come over here. Over here are the chickens that lay the eggs. Yes. <laughs> There's probably 40 to 50 chickens there too, I guess. And um, what I do is there's a button here it shoots eggs there I'm gonna stop it for now because I don't want a whole bunch of chickens going in there and uh, it will unload as many um, eggs that are in those hoppers so it's good to unload every once in a while <laughs> weird wording there and when you get when these chickens get of age and grow up there's a button here and what this button does it sets off this dispenser that has um, flint and steel in it what happens is the flint and steel lights all the chickens on fa fire then there's a hmm, let's see how I can show you this I can get rid of this there's a piston back there that pulls backwards so it's extended right now and it's a sticky piston so it pulls this block back and as these things are on fire they fall down over here and they die on top of this hopper and then just leave everything here um, it's a pretty good design, but the timing of that wall going back and coming back on the sticky piston is a little fast because every once in a while there's a couple of chickens that die up here, which is kind of a pain in the butt because it's like, oh, kind of want the farms to work a little bit better than that. But, you know, I like to try different farms, and this one's, eh, it's 1.10 and it's made out of wood. Yeah, I'll try it. Why not? This is a, a typical mushroom farm. I had it over there. Plant a mushroom there. Grow it and cut it down. It's no big deal. Um, nice, easy to make. What else did I add over here? Um, oh, yeah. This was actually going to be the main... Ouch. The main theory for this whole episode was getting the chorus fruit farms going. So I have two farms here. I kind of wish I placed them a little closer together, but I didn't. So, you know, if I get the motivation one day, I'll move this over there. But right now, well, screw it. It can stay here. Um, so I just have this going too high. So what happens is the chorus fruit, just, um, the flowers, collect the flowers, words. I always forget to, uh, take out the bottoms because I just basically plant the chorus fruit again. So basically I just collect all the flowers and, um, replant the, the fruit itself. Whoops. And I try not to <laughs> hit the plant down before I get the flowers itself. And I kind of do need a whole bunch of these, and I I need to make this twice as big as it is. So maybe that would be a good excuse to move that thing over, over there. Um, because that chorus fruit farm has a lot more chorus fruit than I expected. And this farm won't even garner enough um, of these fruits to occupy that farm. Words again. Wow, my brain ain't working. I guess uh, the illness is still with me. Ah, illness. Ah. Whatever that was. So, that's a nice easy way to get the actual fruit itself. Which, you know, you need the fruit to grow the chorus plant. So, um, let me just throw... Well, I'll just... Yeah, I don't know why I'm in here. Just habit of going in here. No. I'll, gr I'll bring a stack with me just in case I don't remember how many is down there I haven't even tested this farm out yet so I don't even know <laughs> if it works so you are actually gonna test this for the first time together um, basically it's just like how you would expect it there's a water flow system and it just knocks all this crap down and it eventually brings everything down here and it gets sucked into this hopper and um, then you know it goes into that and there's a switch to let the water down um, there's a line of redstone. It's pretty easy. That goes underneath the whole thing. And uh, let's see, did I cover it up yet? No, I haven't. I haven't done the terraforming yet. I got to do some terraforming, and maybe we'll do that later on in this video. Um, we got the repeaters going into each one of the pistons. This is the block underneath the piston. The pistons are stuck on top of each one of these blocks, facing upwards. So with these repeaters powered on, the blocks are. I mean, the pistons uh, have the things up. So you turn off all these repeaters all the blocks come down and the water flow can go down and it's pretty simple 
and this is how I brought it down. I one torch from this one, and then there's a line of redstone that goes to the front that goes to the on off of the water. So does it work? I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out right now. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Love that sound. Let's see how many I actually lost on the sides. This was something I was worried about. I lost one up here. That's not bad. I'll take that any day. Um, I caught a couple just because I was in the way. Yeah, a couple over here. I'm, I'm debating whether or not I should put some walls on here or not. Okay, so I see with this water flow coming down, I stopped the sideways water flow. But hopefully when this water comes, this will start pushing over. That's cool. And I'm actually kind of surprised. Oh, yeah, you are overloaded a little bit, I bet. Yeah, that wasn't... We'll see how much I get. Let me repopulate these, um, replant these things. And see if I really want to put a wall on this. I don't know. It is kind of... I kind of want to see what it looks like from over there, too. So we'll, we'll, we'll go for a walk and see what this place looks like. At a distance just give me a minute so I came over here just to see what the other farm looks like and while I was over here I figure I show you a closer up of the tower that I've been building so here's the um, the way it's starting to look as you can see it's a, it's a strange little tower um, but it's coming along I got some uh, things I gotta fix I gotta figure out why I can see through that place right there that kind of really annoys the hell out of me right now um, but it, it's a six sided six, six. I, if you're wondering, uh, part of, part of the reason why I've been out of work the last couple of days is I've been constantly throwing up, which has done havoc with my vocal cords. So you're going to have to deal with the little weird breaks and stuff in my voice. And it's going to be sound like, bleh, because I've totally destroyed them. So just deal with it. It's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> at least I don't think it is. Um. Yeah, so, I don't know, it, it's definitely a strange tower. I really do like it. It's a little bland, but like I said in the last episode, when I get to the top, there's going to be something really bright on there. And I'm going to leave it uh, without it on there, on top, for a while, uh, just so you guys can figure out what it might be. I'm pretty sure you guys already know. Um, as you see, I haven't really done much in the back. I just started working on this side. I don't know why there's that weird lighting glitch there. That better go away when I build up the tower. Um, so that weird swooping thing is going to come down on this side too with that little anvil end on it. I don't really know how to explain these things that are on this tower. And the, the front is going to be basically recreated back here. Um, behind the tower but I as you see I really got to do a lot for back here but basically from this tower I'm gonna put the elytra launcher on top I will probably um, nah, I'm not gonna make that <clears throat> probably put a portal in this tower too so if I wanted to get someplace quick I could just jump into the nether then jump out where this tower is then take the elytra launcher and just fly over to the flower farm which is not really where I want this thing to fly to it's actually flying to my super secret project which you don't know nothing about unless you watch my streams which I've worked on so if you see me on stream I'm probably working on the super secret project <laughs> so lots of people already know what the super secret project is but I don't even know what the super secret project is I'll let you know when I find out god it's super secret <laughs> super secrets so um, as you remember before I had my thing down here so I gotta tear this down um, I can't see the core shroot farm let's see and I see it from over here I'm actually really surprised I can't see it from over here hmm maybe when the thing grows I'm actually now up to 102 maybe 103 hmm but that's coming down soon. I'm um, going to take down the 100 subscriber thingy pretty soon. Um, just because it's ugly and I want to use that space. <laughs> so let's go for a ride. Oh, you can see it in here. 
Hmm. Where shall we go? I just love using that thing. Um, I'm actually gonna make this thing a little bit bigger for the seeds so I can have more seeds to uh, plant this up with. So I'll probably extend it this way and uh, double the size. And when I'm done with that <clears throat> and possibly doing other stuff, I'll be back and we'll do the rest of this video. Sorry it's so talky, it's just I had to catch up for what I've done for the last few days while I've been out of work. Which, hopefully I can get back in the swing of things with work because missing this much work really kind of sucks in the finances, you know what I mean? Aww, I killed the little buggers. Let's refill. Are you big bunnies? Yes, you are. We go kill you too. Um, now that I've done the farmhouse, there we go. Got some bunny stuff going in there. Um, now that we've done the farmhouse, we are working. Oops on getting some extra materials from the farm itself. So for the last couple of days I've been working on Oh, I gotta hit the button. Ow oh, button hit. Um I've been working on getting as much product out of my farm as possible and into the chests in the farmhouse. And um and after this episode, we'll, we'll leave the farm for a few and start working on something else because I have a whole bunch of stuff I need to finish in this world. Um, so let me just finish feeding my little rabbits. What that sound was a baby being poor. What if it was? That's kind of goofy. Hi. Yeah, you seem all disappointed when I put that away. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. Let's turn that off. So, uh, what I've done here is I expanded this uh, chorus fruit farm a little bit bigger because I have 32 spots for chorus fruit here. So, it there's 32 uh, planting pots there. So, that means I have to get at least 32 chorus fruit before I could start planting over there to make this sustainable and I have 32 over there so I need 64 chorus fruit the fruits itself the thing that you plant um, from this farm so basically I need to get two chorus fruits from each one of these and I come pretty close but I did expand this farm I should put something around it to make it look better um, but basically, this farm will be torn down once I have the right amount of chorus fruit. I think, I don't know if I'm tear it down. And these things grow awfully fast. And um, when I do break them, some of the stuff goes to the side, so I might put a covering on it. But that's not important now. Fixie of the glasses. Um, so I've been just basically f harvesting the hell out of this um, farm. Trying to get things in order to get a uh, big stock of inventory of some stuff from the farm itself and it's been going pretty good a little bit boring because it does take uh, a couple of minecraft days to harvest all this stuff but as you see um, I have been doing it as things are growing and stuff but last, one last thing I wanted to fix in here and I don't know if you guys even know this exists but, um, I, I should stick a bed down here. I should. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go make a bed real quick. Um, then I'll show you what that is. Let's fill over to the wolf farm. Get out of my way, pig. You're lucky to be alive. So, for those who, um, don't really know, um, and I have to explain this to you because it's a huge part of my life in real life right now. Is that I had surgery on St. Patrick's Day, which is March 17th, to remove my gallbladder. 
Um, a gallbladder. Three. I have new one here. A gallbladder stores bile that the pancreas makes. The pancreas makes bile. And what bile does is that it breaks down fat in your stomach. So the pancreas makes the bile to, um, to break down fat and the gallbladder stores the bile. And whenever you eat something fatty, say if I have a hamburger, the gallbladder squirts out some bile to, um, <laughs> lovely topic, isn't it? Um, to deal with the grease or the fat from the hamburger. So, um, the pancreas is great for making the bile and the gallbladder is great for regulating it. But without the gallbladder, what happens is your pancreas just continually squirts <laughs> what a name there <laughs> squirts you um it continually squirts bile into your intestines and for some people that causes problems and unfortunately for me it has caused some major problems i've had uh, my stomach lining has basically been eroded away and I've had gastritis, which is some sort of crazy, doesn't feel good problem with my intestines. And I've been really feeling like crap lately. I haven't been going to work or anything. It's been really bad. Um, so my video production hasn't really been that great um, because I've been worried about this. Um, because I'm in my 40s, I'm old, and you hear about pancreas stuff, and, uh, what was I going to do down here? Oh, I was going to throw it on a bed. And I think pancreas cancer. So, uh, there's something that the doctors, I'm going to go like this. There's something that the doctors have uh, found, and they're going to scope me next Thursday. Down the throat and up the poop chute, which should be fun um, to find out what exactly is going on. And hopefully that will fix the situation and hopefully they won't find anything that's going to be devastatingly bad for my life. Because I am afraid of the big C word and I haven't felt intestinally this bad in my whole life. I'm having some weird stuff go on. I'm going to try and go to work today for the first time in a week um, since my surgery, since I'm supposed to have been back to work, which has been probably two months. I've only been able to work a, like a week and a half, two weeks because I'm constantly throwing up. That feels like uh, I've been punched mm. a lot in the stomach and it hasn't really been fun. So um, mm. hopefully after this thing next week, I will be back in shape and my emotional attitude will be better. My videos might get a little more cheerful again, <laughs> uh, but I'm doing my best. So just bear with me is what I'm saying. I'm going through a lot of stuff right now in my life <clears throat> and um, my video making is kind of taking a little bit of a backseat because I'm not thinking about the videos as much as I was before because I'm worried about other stuff. So with that said, I kind of um, made the storage area uh, to hold the excess stuff from this fishing farm that's what this is up here and um, basically you sit here you stand here and you fish up and uh, catch fish all night long so it's a great AFK place is it night no nope. so um, that is done and I would like to say I appreciate you dealing with everything recently with me um, mm. it's been I've been writing emotional posts online, and attacked by people, and being kind of a nitwit, and just kind of being over-emotional about things, just because I haven't been feeling well. So, bear with me for another week or so, and I'll be back on track. And burping is one of the things that this causes, so most likely, they'll be able to put me on some sort of medicine and steer me in the right direction to keep the bile from piling up in my stomach and eroding my intestinal lines and making my life miserable so um, I'm gonna keep on smiling and keep on trudging through and work on a new project next week 
But thank you for joining me and listening to me uh, complaining a little bit about my health. My own fault. Take care of your bodies. And uh, have a great day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Jams just in the Minecraft series. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>